What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about the NFL Week 10 Thursday Night Football and the Seahawks and the Cardinals went at it, man. And it's very, very unfortunate that these injuries are so bad for the league. I don't, you know what I was thinking about? I was watching um, Undisputed with Skip and uh, Shannon. If you guys don't check that out, man, you got to definitely check it out uh, right there on the Fox Network. But they were saying like some really, really key things. People didn't used to get injured like this. And it's similar to like baseball where like Babe Ruth, the dude used to drink and do whatever he wanted, all kinds of stuff, and then just go out there and pitch for like 95 innings. A lot of the athletes, I don't know what's really going on with trainers. Um, I was a trainer for a couple of years. Um, and, you know, the, the way that I, you know, I was taught by guys that were like more old school and pretty much my, the, the people that I trained, male or female, they had more longevity in their sport. And it's just about the elasticity. Um, I think that, it's similar to like the Pilates thing with like Tom Brady and just the stretching and stuff like that. I don't think these athletes do enough stretching and, um, you know, making the, the, the muscles as loose as possible. That's just a, just a thought, bro, because just the way that it's happening crazy like this, you know, losing Richard Sherman plus Earl Thomas was out. He had some kind of injury. Um, but either way, you know, Cam Chancellor's there. But losing Sherman, that's losing a lockdown corner on one side of the field. So I don't – the Seahawks, I have to probably take them out of uh, my playoff contention because I don't think they can overcome that, especially with everything that goes on with Pete Carroll. Like he, you know, he pretty much doesn't really have control of the team to start. And, um, you know, losing one of these guys that now makes losing more, is going to be more aggravating because now you already know, all right, so who's going to take over this side? What are we going to do with this? It's going to be very, very difficult for the Seahawks to continue to go on. But I will tell you this, Russell Wilson is balling out of his mind and, um, you know, this didn't look good to start, but let me just say this about Adrian Peterson. He's still the same old Adrian Peterson that's going to put the ball on the ground, and that's the biggest thing about it. You see, it probably was the best thing for the Saints to take a chance on him and then release him because of the death stare because it kind of motivated the rest of the team to kind of respect Sean Payton. And remember, I predicted that would happen, and everybody would say, yeah, whatever, you know, they'll get over it. It's man. It's no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you something about real men. Real men don't tolerate disrespect. And once Sean Payton would have allowed a old Adrian Peterson, like, remember, he plays running back. Not like he's Tom Brady. He's a running back. They don't even care about running backs like they used to in the past. So you can't think that you're that dude. And when you go to, you know, he had that one big game when he came out right away. They cut Chris Johnson, stuff like that. Um, and then after that, he's just been regular. And that's what I'm saying. And then he's saying things like he's going to play for the next three, four years. Who's going who's gonna to pay him? The running back position, you got yo, you got like a very, very limited time span. Uh, just think about some of the guys that we used to see back in the day, how long they played, and it was a whole different thing back then when running the ball was more essential. That's not happening right now, okay? Barry Sanders, um, Emmett Smith, those guys, you know, like I don't know, you know, Bo Jackson, all these guys, it's no more of that right now. Like these dudes. You know, Jim Brown, it, it was a different era. Right now, you're passing the ball. You need a quarterback to put bo you know, you know, put it in the air, dog. Put the ball in the air. That's all we're looking for right now as fans of the game and just want to be entertained. And, uh, yo, I, I don't know I don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, this dude, Adrian Peterson, is still just fumbling like he's back in the olden days with the Vikings, bro, when people try to figure out, like, yo, what is wrong with this guy? This guy is so talented but can't hold on to the ball. But I just wanted to put that out there. Other than that, the Cardinals, you know, they, I told you they were done while they had Carson Palmer. It's not going to change with Drew Stanton. So um, we're going to go ahead and look to the next year for the Cardinals because even their defense doesn't play as well anymore. I thought that their defense was a lot better. Um, it's just, it, I don't know. You know, um, going forward, though, with the Seahawks, I think, what are they, like 6-3? and three? I, I believe that they have a chance to do something because they have Russell Wilson. But I think defensively, they were relying on what was left of that, you know, that, that great defense, and it's just not there anymore. You know, um, Earl Tom, they, they're nicked up. The Legion of Boom, you know, Legion of Doom, whatever, you know, it's done. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how much more they have in them, and that's why every time you make it to the Super Bowl, and people are going to always bring up that pass and that play call from the Seahawks because it's so hard to get to the Super Bowl. And everything was changed because of that. They made Tom Brady get all these extra years and be known as the GOAT. Because that win contributed to it. In addition to the, um, the Falcons, who I have no respect for, for allowing them to come back from down, you know, what is it, 28-3 or whatever it was uh, in the Super Bowl. Those things helped to boost Tom Brady over every other um, 
you know, quarterback ever in the National Football League because history could have been easily changed. The tuck rule, all the, Tom Brady is one of the luckiest men in the world, but he's, he's immensely talented. But sometimes you just need more luck than actual skill. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say it like that, but he, he's a very, very lucky player, but he goes out there and he performs every time he's out there. And it is what it is. So, you know, he did lose to Eli Manning, which helps Eli Manning's legacy. I don't think that Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer, but that helps Eli Manning's legacy because he did beat the greatest quarterback of all time twice. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. You know, the, the saying is better to be lucky than good. But going forward again, my assessment I do think the Seahawks are obviously going to make the playoffs. I don't expect them to do anything without Richard Sherman, especially if Earl Thomas continues to get nicked up. The defense is not looking like it used to as far as the secondary goes, but up front, you know, Wagner and them boys and KJ Wright, them boys is putting in work. Um, Dougie Baldwin is out there balling on the other side, so I do like their chances. Again, the Cardinals season was over once it started with, um, you know, Carson Palmer at quarterback. He is injured now, and they are trying to move forward, but something is not clicking. And I think Adrian Peterson is just going to be the Adrian Peterson of old. When you least expect it, he's going to put the ball on the ground. And it is what it is. It's reality, man. Dude's old. He needs to go sit down someplace. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share. G-Maya. One love.